What's a god, my gooners, gooner rits and gooner babies? We back at it again. I told you I'll be back. Didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you? <laughs> All right, be Bernie Mac. But um, yes. So the season is over. It's been a busy summer already. So I already did the ladies um season wrap up. So I'll make sure you guys go and check that out. You know what I'm saying? It's on the channel now. Go and check it out. This time round, we gonna be talking about the guys. Oh yes, it's time for the man them to step up, and we gonna talk about it. So first things first, my people, don't forget like and subscribe. All that goody goody, all that goody goody. Don't forget to follow me on IG. You know what it is. If you wanna be part of the Gots gang, hit that. You know what it is. Hit the scan. Come on now, be part of the family trying to build a community of supporters over there that's what i'm trying to build supporters people that ride or die with the badge you know what i'm saying win lose or draw we gooners next game we go again you know what i'm saying we don't turn on the club for none of that you know what i'm saying so that's a free pound free pound a month to become part of the guts gang you know what i'm saying or you could just be a channel supporter for one pound simple Dimples. All right, people. So let's get back into what we do. So let me just, let me just, let me just, let me just get that off screen real quick. All right. So first things first, let's go and see what the boss man been saying. Yeah. How he wrapped up this season. And here we go. Right. They are. Uh, so I'm not, look, you can see it's a whole page. If you want to go to the page, please do so over there and check out the message but i'm just going to read like the highlighted part so thanks thank you to our players who faced the who faced the season with passion and determination when i watch our when i watch our men and women training every single day i feel how much they want to deliver for this football club salute i see it too not with the training obviously because i am dead there but the games you know what i'm saying the little clips on social media you get me Thank you to everyone working alongside them all together, doing what we believe is right. Salute to the boss, as you can see here. This is a long, nice little, nice, nice little, little statement right there. But very proud of this man right here. I can't say nothing bad about him. I can't say nothing bad about him. You know what I'm saying? Teta, you're up there, brother. Salute to you. All right, what is next? Next up, my people, we're going to be talking about Game Changer. Yeah, guess who's up for that? Guess who is up for that? It's the one and only. It's one of the babies. It's one of the babies. Race. He's up there. Game Changer. Yeah, he's up for it. You know what I'm saying? He's up for it. I don't know who the other nominees are. Should we go and check? Let's go check. Okay, so yes, of course it's going to be that Brighton game. That Brighton game, I swear, I shook my whole house when that went in. I shook the whole house, blood. I ran up and down. I was on the floor. I'm sure I cried. It was it was a lot. That strike there, because all it took was a little movement to the left, a little movement to the right, and it's not going in. You know what I'm saying? It's one of them ones. You have to be there, and you have to hit it. And there was a point just before just before the corner was taken. He was behind the referee. I don't know if that was a tactic. I don't know if he was trying to hide from the defender or his marker, but he shook it off, got in front of the ref, shook off the defender. What? Boom! Love that goal, man. So... Hopefully, he gets it. He's nominated for it. Up for Game Changer. What's the Game Changer of the season? It's up there. If it ain't it, it's up there. Get me? Who else is up there with him? All right, he's got... Um, he's up against Pickford. Yeah, for being in goal for Everton. In a Merseyside derby. Must have done some bits. And in third place is Song for his 30... His 13-minute hat-trick coming off the bench. You know what I'm saying? The rest of them don't really matter because they're a bit low down. And I'm saying we're going to mention Haaland because he's been amazing. You know what I'm saying? What's that? Hat trick and two assists. You can't, you can't hate that now, can you? You can't hate that. But Reese, that goal, that saved our game, man. That saved the game right there. So I hope he gets it. You know what I'm saying? I hope he gets it. All right. What is up next? What have I got next for you? Ooh. 
Let's talk about that real quick. Mm -mm. Let's talk about that real quick. I'll get this on screen for you. I'll go get this on screen for you. So we're going to be talking about now. Oh, shit. Did I close the wrong thing? Hold up, peoples. I think I closed the wrong thing. Excuse me. Yeah, I did close the wrong thing. God damn it. Let's get that out of the way. All right, Jordan. Excuse me. All right. So here we go for player of the season nominations. Are you ready for this one? Let me know down below who you got. Look. Start from the bottom. Got Zins down there. Got Shaka down there. Got Ben. Benjamin's down there. Vieira, Tommy, TNE, Saka, Saliba, Rambo, Party, Odegaard, Eddie, Gab, Martinelli, of course, Nels, um, Gab, <laughs> Gabriel at the back, and then Gabriel Jesus. Yeah, and I dig me three Gabs right there. Who out of those would you give your player of the season to? Ooh, I'm going to hold my vote back until we get to the actual winner because I know who the winner is. But before we get there, let's see. You know what I'm saying? Put it down in the comments now. Out of those names right there, who you bucking with? Who you bucking with? It's a nice list there. You know what I'm saying? Really, there's, let's just say, half. You can just wipe off because you ain't getting player of the season. Everyone did amazing this year, but... This, the, I don't even think the list should be that thick. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't even be that thick. Let me know down below, guys, what you're saying. Who should we got? We got. Give me your top three. Give me your top three. Right now, I'll give you my top three. Yeah, out of that list. Out of that list. It's going to be Rambo. That's Aaron Ramsdale. Yeah. Prince Saka. And in third place... In third place, Jacka could get involved, you know. Saliba could get involved, you know. It's between them for the for the third spot. I'm gonna go with Saliba, even though he got injured. Jacka did transform himself. He played a different position, so it's one of them ones. But I think I'm gonna go Rambo, Saka, Saliba. That's my top three. Let me know down below, guys, where your top three is. Okay, let's move into the next one. Aha, uh -huh. you're going to like this next one, guys. You're going to like this next one. This next one is all about Rambo, basically. It's all, it's all about Rambo. So let me get that up for you. It's all about Rambo, so you know what that means. We talking about the save of the season. What are you guys saying? What you say in? Talk to me. Because... I can't lie to you. I'm in a blur. I'm in a blur of his um of his saves. So let's see down here real quick. Did they line them up? Yeah, they line them up. All right. I think they line them up. Um, he stopped against Bournemouth. Can I remember that? I think there was a couple of stops in there. Didn't they score early? Was it them? Didn't they score early? I think they scored early. What's this one here? Say that the night Sali. Saliba, that denies Salah. I think there's a couple in my mind, so I'm not sure which ones that is either. I don't want to play him in case Arsenal get a bit sticky. All right, son, it's only those two. So it's the, the one against Bournemouth and the one against Liverpool. I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to go with this, the, the game against Liverpool. I don't know why. It's probably because Liverpool are the bigger club, you know what I'm saying, and the more dangerous. But either way, they were both great saves. But I think I'm going to go with the Liverpool one, I think. You yeah, under dig me? Let me know which one you're going to go with, guys. Tell me what you think. Because um, I don't want to play him and then Arsenal block me, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't going to play him. I'm just going to have to go off memory, and I'm going off the Liverpool one. Let me know down below where you go all right let's move on to the next thing let's move on to the next thing let's move on to the next thing all right the next thing is <laughs> is the winner of the game changer and you know arsenal got class so just because it's on our side that don't mean it's one of us you get me that don't mean that who was on it pickford was on it right you know what i'm saying so who do you think won it I need to get that up on screen now. I'm out here farting around. Um, here we go. Are you ready? 
are you ready? And the winner is the one and only well done my boy well the the done see it right there that's a statement i ain't reading all that out just know he smashed that sent everyone going crazy again i'd love to play it but i don't want to get this video blocked off you know how it go but um you know people let me get it off the screen. You know what it is, man. That goal was amazing. I don't, it's not just about the technique of the goal, it's about what it represented, the timing of the goal, everything, everything. It was at home. You know what I'm saying? There's so many levels that can take it. He's a young un, you know what I mean? He's black. There's so so many other sub things to show you how great that was and why. Ah, but the main core is he played to the end. And he played for his badge. He played for the shirt on his back. He's been there since he was six. That's what he'd been training for. Them moments there. It's them moments there. So salute to Reese. You get me? Salute, brother. Salute. All right. What we got next? Our men's goal of the season. Is that what we do? doing? We talking about goals of the season, baby. So let's take a little break and we'll be back to talk about goal of the season. <laughs> All right, peoples, here we go. We're going straight into this one. No games. All right, so here's the nominees. For the goal of the season, you can see the first one there is Saliba's goal against Bournemouth. You remember that one. You remember that one. Is he outside the box or is he in the box? Either way, he got it to go over the keeper. So, boy, the closer you are, blessing that that is. You know what I'm saying? Salute to him. You know me? Vieira's goal against Brentford. I remember that one. That was a nice strike. That is from outside the box. And it's a lovely distance. And the ball goes straight. Salute to him for that one. I remember that one. Party's goal against the scum. Class. Class. He's got that down. And you can see he's, he's been trying to get it. Because Blake is obvious he does this in training. So he's been trying to get the get the run up right because he does that strike a lot. That open the open the foot out and try and bend it in the top. He does it a lot. Sometimes he doesn't need to take it. There's better options, but when he takes it and he takes that shot, god damn it! And that there was one of the sweetest, sweet test. Excuse me. Um, Martinelli's goal against Nottingham Forest. This the header. I'm guessing this is the header. That was a decent goal. That was a good goal. You know what I'm saying? Tierney's goal in um, Zurich. I think I remember it. Is it isn't it the one where he's he comes up the left? He's, is it a mad run? I think it's the mad run. Edge of the box and fist it across, across the glass before nestling into the far corner. I'm sure that's that goal. I'm sure. Or I'm mixing it up with another one of his goals. Eddie versus West Ham. Oh, you know what? I'm thinking of the, the flick. The flick. I'm thinking of the flick. That's Man United's game. Uh, let's see if we read that there. When he receives the ball with his back to goal and then spun away from... In the net beyond. Ooh, I can't remember it. Because I thought, oh, no, I do remember it. When they were in black. Because I'm sure, I thought I was against Bournemouth. When he holds him off, spins and then smacks it in the bottom left. Yeah, no, no, that was nice. I thought I was against Bournemouth. Okay, Capitano, Erdegaard against the scum. Can I remember this one? I'm not sure if I remember that one. I'm sure that's the same it's the same game. It's the same game as um was it? I can't remember now. It's a bit of a blur. Yeah, I mean it's a bit of a blur. 
And then Saka scored. Yeah, ah, no, nah, this one where he comes in, skips past the first defender. Boom! It's over, blood. Levels. I like that one. Saka against Villa. Ah, oh, can I remember this one? Oh, I don't know if I He made the most of the chances. Into the roof of the net. 12 yards out. I think, I think he's got Saka's goals are, are very similar, unless they're like tappings and that they're very similar. And what is this the last one? The last one is Reese's goal against Bournemouth. That is oh it's up there, boy. That's up there, boy. Uh, I'm gonna give you my top three, and then you guys let me know your top three from this list here. <sighs> Reese's goal is going to be number three, right? Reese's goal is going to be number three. Party's goal is going to be number two. No, Saliba's goal is going to be number two. Party's goal is going to be number one. I give Party goal of the season. Yes, it's against the scum. I'm saying stuff. I don't care. Say something. Let me know who your top three is. Yeah? Let me know who your top three out of these. Not randomly, but if none of these are yours, if you're like, nah, man, there's better ones, then give me your top three. But give it to me out of these since we've got these ones here. You under dig me? I think that was very good. I think that was very good. All right. So before we find out what the real answer is, yeah, gonna come out of that one and we're gonna move on to the next, on to the next sub which is player of the season you dig me player of the season hold on a minute let me just make sure that i got this right all right so we're gonna i'll give you a little countdown i'll give you a little countdown let's see if i got this right all right all right yeah 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 yeah. all right okay so player of the season in third place yeah I ain't going to put the screen up for this one. I'm just going to tell you. In third place, Martinelli. Yeah, let's get that out of the way. He's in third place. Second place is the Prince, Saka. Hold on. Wait a minute. Let's put some pimping in it. Name of the player of the season is the one and only Capitano Martin Erdegaard. That's what they're saying to me right now, people. Erdegaard got it. I can't even remember now my bloody, my bloody, what's it called? What I said. I can't even remember what I said. That's how you know. I can't even remember what I said. But Erdegaard's got it. And I'm not arguing with that. He's been, an, he's been a tremendous captain this year. Tremendous. Oh, sorry about that. I needed that. Erdegaard has definitely been up there. I... I do not want them to just, you know, let's not even get there. He did tremendous, and I hope he keeps the armband. That's that's all I'm saying. All right. We're going to go into goal of the season now because we just said that, right? What did I, I can't even remember what I said. Reese was number three, Saliba number two, and Party number one. Let's go and see. Let's go and see, my friends. So, in third place, yeah, I will put this up for you just so you can see. It's not really needed, but we here in it. We here. Third place. Boom. You see the prince? The prince is in third place. Yeah, what goal was that? Did they tell you what goal? You're not at United. All right, cool. So he's got that. He's in third place. The Prince is in third place. Let's get that out of here. Second place. If you can believe this, but still in the top three. Bang. Party time against the scum. Beautiful. I put that as number one, but it got to number two. 
Okay. So now we need to see who the number one is. I don't even think I got it up. They didn't show it. They didn't show it. So now I'm going to have to go back to the site and try and hunt it down right now because I'm sure they didn't show it. Sorry about this, guys, because there's Bear. Bear Academy guys done signed their new contracts. So um, I need to quickly just see if I can find it. Where's number one? Where's number one? Oh wait, am I in the am I in the girls team? No, I've been here. I've been here. They're not still it. Pick it. They must not have picked it yet. They must not have picked goal of the season because I can't find it. Yeah, we got party finishes second. Did I say that already? Party finished second. But um Oh no a lie. Sorry. I did have it. I had it on the screen the whole time. Sorry. I messed that up completely. Completely. Um <laughs> It was up there. I thought it was something else. It's Reese. Reese is number one. Reese got number one. Party came number two, and Saka was number three. Saliba's goal didn't even make it. You now I'm saying Saliba's goal didn't even make it. Actually, who did I have? I had Party, Saliba, and I had no. Yeah. All right. Two of mine. Two of mine made the top three. I'm happy with that. I put him at number three, and I had Party at number one. They put him at number one and Party at number two. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at that at all. Do you agree? Do you think that that was the goal of the season for us? I think party's goal was better, personally. You know what I'm saying? And it was against a rival, so double your bubble with that one. But salute to Reese, man. Can't say nothing to that, my brother. Salute to you on that one. All right, don't want to do that yet. I don't do that yet. All right, guys. So we're going to take a little, little commercial break, come back, and then we're going to talk about how the season ended league table stats facts gonna give you some player ratings talk about who's leaving who's coming in we go talk we go talk all right real women love gooners We're on the sofa the pride of North London. G O T S Gang Gang. What it do, what it do, what it do. All right, so let's get this screen up on here. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. All right, so people, we all know. Finished second after leading for more than anyone's ever led without winning. Get me a little embarrassing facts right there. But we here, we doing what we do. You know what I'm saying? So let's talk about the last five games there. As you can see, we won three, lost two. Get me? As a whole, 38 games, 26 wins, drew six, lost six. Lost six, you know. Oh, man. And you know the ones that stick out? It's the West Ham and Liverpool game. It's the West Ham and Liverpool game. We win those two games. We win the league by a point. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. If everything else carries on, all the other results are what they are. You get me? And if we beat Southampton as well, that's the one. Southampton as well. Oh, it's embarrassing. It's a little embarrassing. I can't lie. It hurts a little bit. A little bit more than it just hurts a little bit. You know what I mean? It just hurts a little bit. It just hurts a little bit. I don't know what you want me to say. It hurts a little bit. But 
It could have been worse because we finished fifth last time and they shitted on us. Look at the table. Look at this. You know what I mean? We don't have to look at the whole thing. Top 10. Look at them. Them man there. You know what I mean? Look, Chelsea 12th. Liverpool 5th. Why man saying, why are people talking about us? I don't know. You need to be kissing our feet. You understand me? You need to be kissing our feet. But all right, let me get that one off there. And let's talk about some more stacks and facts with it. Some more stacks and facts with it. I've got some for you. Arsenal fixtures, results, and some stats. So here we go, my peoples. Can we get side to side? Let's do that. All right. So what we got here, as you saw already, position second, play 38, points 84, 126, June 6, lock 6, blah, 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 blah. What's this last six games? Spank Wolves, lost to Forest. I can't believe that. I forgot about that. Jesus Christ. That's another one. Lost to Brighton. That's another one. Dealt with Newcastle. Oh, it's ridiculous. Dealt with Chelsea and got spanked by City. Mm, mm, mm. That there hurts. Them there hurts, boy. That alone, that alone hurts. Let's get that off the screen because it's not really good reading. I like that we finished one five nil last game of the season, but you know what I mean? It don't really mean nothing. You know what I'm saying? So let's go dig in a little bit more into some more facts that we got right here. What we got right here, peoples? What we got? Can you see this? Hold on a minute. Let's move this. Can't move it. Can't move it. All right. Now you can't see that. So can we do something else with this? There you go. You can have a bit of that while I look. All right. So what we got here? Some more details. 88 goals in general. 2.32 per match. Headed goals. 12. Penalty scored. 3. That's quite. See, we didn't even get penalties like that. That's how you know. We didn't even get penalties like that. Goals. Can you change this? No. I wanted to see who was on top. So we've got Martinelli with 15. Saka with 14. Erdegaard with 15. Jesus with 11. And he was injured for most of the season. That's not bad. I like that we're spreading it around. We're spreading it around the top three as well. You know what I mean? That's not bad. It's not bad. But we do need to have a striker to get... We want a striker to hold down 20 bones. You know what I mean? Hold down 20 bones. What? I'm sure Smith Rowe scored a goal. I, I think that's incorrect. Party scored three. Is that it? Eddie, four. I'm sure they scored more than that. Three. Get me. Is that so? He That's the only goal he scored was against Brentford. Hmm. Interesting, huh? Interesting. Gabriel scored three. See, that's why we just call him Gabs, because Gabriel, you dig me? Benjamin scored, yeah, boy. Oh, there's Shaq. He scored seven. I'm saying. Thomas with the three, Nelson with the three. Even our new boy got one. You know what I mean? Holding got one. Yeah, man. It's all right. It's all right. We just need some more goals. But goals ain't our problem. As I think of it, it's not our problem. Got scoring goals wasn't the problem for us. You know what I mean? All right, guys. So now done that fly through that real quick you know what i'm saying we had an amazing season that's not front it just got down to the last five games and it was a bit too much the squad injuries that came with to key people and it just wasn't a sexy look you know what i mean it just it just was what it was i'm not gonna make no excuses it just was what it was all right people so let's go and talk about sorry i'm gonna get off the screen let's go talk about or should i say just gonna take a quick little quick little break again and then we're gonna come back and talk about who's going who's coming in what when what what way g o t s gang gang first up here we go pablo is gone mate AC Monza is out of here. Permanent transfer. 29-year-old has bounced. 
You know what I'm saying? Good luck to you, bruv. Good luck to you. You were decent. You understand? You were decent. If you were still in my team today, I would have said, get him on the list. We've got to get him out of there. You know what I'm saying? He's a squad player, but squad player needs to be at a certain level. And for where we need to go, he weren't there. He was a good stopgap filling, but so salute to you. And that was it shooting or stabbing? I think it was a stabbing craziness that happened. Glad that you're back. Glad that you're back doing your thing. You know what I'm saying? So go out there and finish your career, man. Do what you've got to do. No complaints. You heard me? No complaints about that at all. Okay, that's Pablo gone. Next up, yeah, we're going to talk about this brother right here because it's been nothing but, hold on a minute, sorry. It's been nothing but disrespect in other place. So we're going to talk about it. I'm going to do another video separately because that brother, what's his name? Rory something on Talk Sport talking the most wet but i'm gonna give my view on that on another video shack first of all that's for you right there brother and i'm saying when we got you decent i always thought you was decent you progressed from that into a good player you know what i'm saying into a good good solid got your back player now there was that thing that happened personally i'm on his side i was on his side while i was watching the game you know what i'm saying one man against sixty thousand plus listen you have to be submissive super in control of everything about yourself if that does not affect you you know what i'm saying and letting Walking, walking away all hands down and calm and then while and out in the changing room, that ain't no different because someone's still going to come out and say that you smashed up the place so you might as well react where you at. You know what I'm saying? He was getting booed and everything and I remember it clearly. So he was doing this, ah, whatever, like more and more and more. And I was like, I'd have done the same thing and I'm not playing for this club tomorrow. I ain't coming to work tomorrow. You lot can suck out. That's, that's how I felt. You don't turn on your people. And this is the second time that I felt that we've done this. You know what I'm saying? I say we because I'm a Guna. The, 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 the fans in the stadium did this to a buoy as well. And he ain't bounced back. You know what I'm saying? That's why when it started on Shaq, I was like, oh, there we go. This is the end. Because you don't bounce back from your own. Your own booing you. Nah. You know what I'm saying? And he's there putting in work. You know what I'm saying? Yes, he's fouling sometimes. That's going too far. He's putting in too much work. Calm down. Be controlled. Be calculated. But too much of this in the ear make you go and do stupid shit. You ain't seen John Q? You get me? All it take was for the mother to say, go do something. All right, then. Let me go hold up doctors in the hospital. Because you got told to go do something. You know what I mean? I don't see no Man United fans popping on Eric Cantona for, for, for Kung Fu kicking someone. They ain't turned their back on him. Liverpool came out wearing shirts with Suarez after he was racist. He's in a biscuit. You know what I mean? Salute to Shaka Blood. Hope everything goes well. Hope everything goes smoothly. You know what I'm saying? Now you're going back home. So blessings. I love that. I love that back home talk. You know what I mean? Side note, that's why me and Juru ain't cool no more, blood. Get me? She done moved to City after she said she was moving over there. She left Arsenal women to go over there, Wolfsburg, I think it was, because she missed home. Want to go back home. Now you back in England. I'm sending for her. She might be the first female I sent for. You know what I mean? Straight like that. Getting Katie McCabe treatment. I'm coming for your neck, blood. You know what I mean? Ha! Ah, home Katie Brocks her up, not Inja. Brock her up, though, blood. Nutmeg and then spin her off. You hear me? Don't like them kind of movements there, blood. Anyhow, salute to Shaka. You hear me? All right, peoples, we got some more good news. We got some contracts and a new player for sign. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm going to start with a new player because I've only got one up. I know, I'm going to say now, I know Rice is on his way. Get me? I know Timber's on his way. I ain't seen them hold up a shirt. I ain't see their interview while wearing a shirt. I ain't seen none of that. So until that happens, they don't get included. They're not Arsenal until you're Arsenal. Yeah, you know I mean, I see you cheesing, signing your contract. You ain't Arsenal. You know what I mean? So first up, first and only up, <laughs> first and only up is Mr. Havertz. Shock signing? I think so. I definitely think so. Definitely a shock signing because I didn't see it coming. But I'll tell you this. As soon as I, I saw it, I was like, what? Are you mad? I trust the manager. If this is who he wants and he knows where to use him and how to use him, please do. Please do. Are you insane? We need that. Sorry, I think this thing has been low the whole time. There we go. We need that. You need trust. I don't care. And there's bare other people that we've been like, oh, he might come. Whoever Arteta wants, let's go get them and let's keep pushing because it's been beautiful. You know what I'm saying? It's been beautiful. And now we're in the Champions League. Now you can just, yo, come here, blood. You don't have to say much no more. You know what I'm saying? But he's still doing the chat. He's still giving them that feel and where you're going to play, why I need you to come here and all them kind of talk there. It's different. It's different. You know what I'm saying? I know I said I wasn't going to talk about it. Rice, go reject City and Munich because they want to come to we. It's different now. It's different now. But Havertz, Champions League winner, league winner, Premier League winner. Like, What do you want out of life? What do you want out of life? Play that out of position and still score goals for them. Not many, but out of position. Chelsea didn't use him right. So hopefully Arteta knows what he's doing and know where he's going to be used. And, and we're about to see something special. You get me? Korea relit. So salute to him. Let's see. Walk one when he gets here. I heard he might be having his debut in the next preseason game. So hopefully that can run. You know what I'm saying? But as of now, guys, that's the signings that I'm talking about. I'm not talking about no one else because I ain't seen them hold up the shirt. I ain't seen them hold up a shirt, baby. So I can't talk about that. I can't talk about that. All right. First up for contract signage. His name has been ringing throughout this whole video. So ain't going to be no shot to see him pop up. There he go right there. Uh, Reese. Sup, King. Sup. Nice. He signed the ting officially. You know what I mean? You know what's funny is he didn't even need to like rush him and try and get it done before his contract ran out. No rush, blood. No rush. Let's get the terms right. And he's staying. So salute to Reese. You know what I'm saying? Got goal of the season. It's part of me, according to the Arsenal website. I'm guessing Arsenal fans. Part of me. Again. <laughs> Voted for it. So doing bits, my brother. Doing bits. You understand me? All right, and who else but the Rolls Royce? You know, when I say the Rolls Royce, who that be, who that is? It's the one and only, man. It's the King William Saliba. How you mean, Sassam? Just saw a video of him in training. Looks like the Rolls Royce just got some Austin Martin BMW and Mercedes add-ons, blood. He looks sweet. Ridiculous out there, and I'm loving it. Loving it. Say something. Say nothing. Yeah, dig me. All right. What else do I have to do now? All right, people, we're going to take a quick little, 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 and then we'll be back. And then we're going to talk about the player ratings for the season. That's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about the player ratings for the season, baby. So here we go. Can we side to side this? Can we? Hold on a minute. Let's see. If I go over there. Does it work? Does it work? Does it work? No, it don't work. 
So let's just let you see the screen and I'll just roll true like this, yeah. Rambo. 9.9. 9. Only because he could have been better, but how much better? 9.9 9 Rambo gets. Renaissance on, you ain't getting one. You was out on loan. Sorry. NA. Matt Turner. I'm 50-50 on Matt. I'm 50-50 on Matt. He's a little shaky. He's a little shaky. He's a little shaky. But then he's done some good stuff also. I'm going to give him a five. Matt gets a five. I'm going to skip the babies because they didn't really get to play. Well, I didn't get to see them, so I'm not going to give them a rating. You know what I mean? All right. Straight up, the Rolls Royce. Saliba. If it weren't for that injury, could have got a nine, but I'm going to give you an eight, five. I'm going to put the injury on you because I'm being extra as hell. You know what I mean? Because I just don't want to be out here just giving people high numbers just because it's going to have to push my people. You know what I mean? Get a, you get an 8.5. No, you get a 9. What am I saying? You get a 9. I don't care. I don't care if I end up giving everyone 9s. But I didn't because Rambo got a 9. Matt got a 5. Saliba gets a 9. Tierney. If, you, if he was to stay, I would commend him more for last season because that means he knows what it is. He knows he's not playing 38 games but he's still going to push, you know what I'm saying? And he did push. He played well. So I'm going to give him a seven. He gets a seven. Benjamin, nine, because they laughed. First, they laughed at the 50 mil buying you. You know what I'm saying? Then they laughed putting you at right back. Both of those, you just normal. Love that. So he gets a nine. Gabs. Up and down, made mistakes this season, but also did very well this season. You see what I'm saying? It's just the mistakes we've got to narrow down. It's not They're not often, but when they do happen, they hurt us. So he's going to get an eight this season. Polish brother, my Polish brother. Can't pronounce your name, but your wife is the twerk queen. <laughs> Kiwo, I'm going to say that's your name, Kiwo. He did very decent for me. Very decent to the point, even so... I keep him on FIFA. He's on. He's still in my FIFA team, and I'm like ten years ahead of the real world. You know what I'm saying? And he's still dead there. Yeah, you know I man. So for him, I'm gonna give him. He did good. He did better than average when he played. So I'm gonna give him a six. Yeah, he did a six holding. They try and talk about the boy. They try and talk about the boy. I like holding. We need to keep English man around, especially that defense. We Arsenal, baby. He's no Adams. He's no Keown. He's no Bold. I know that. But he's the closest thing that we got right now because we don't have stones. You know me? Stones don't play for us. You know I mean? That's the really English man I can be thinking. I ain't Maguire. He's better than Maguire. Listen, Rob is better than Maguire. Suck out, blood. But I'm going to give Rob a seven for being strong-willed, no moaning, comes on, does the best that he can. You know what I'm saying? When Saliba's not there, best that he can. I'm going to give him a strong seven for, and that's, it should really be like a 6.5, but he's getting a seven for down to do whatever. You know what I'm saying? Cedric, NA, because he was on loan. Tommy got injured, but Tommy is class. He got injured, but I'm going to give you a, I'm going to give you a six. You get a solid six because you were just above average for me. Um, Devez, even though you're, Played very well for me on FIFA. <laughs> You're on loan, so you don't get nothing. Zins! Zinjango! Ah, it's my boy right there. Love that passion in that kid right there. I, I'm i going to give him an eight. I'm going to give him an eight because it's it's going forward. He's he's That's where his blessing is. Going forward is where his blessing is. Coming back. He's sometimes a little shaky. Sometimes he don't play. Shut you down, boom, get the ball, give it up, go, let's go. But then sometimes he tries to do something a little too smart or over smart, try and double think the attacker, and it goes left. You know what I'm saying? So you get eight for that. Trusty, I got you on FIFA. Well, I just sold you on FIFA, bruv. Sorry. But I ain't see you this season. You know what I'm saying? Party, he's been rocky. Straight up, you're getting a seven. He's been rocky, but when he plays, he gets he's class. He is class, but he just has rocky moments. So that's why he's not getting nothing higher than a seven. 
the prince is getting a nine straight lucky i don't give him a 9.5 actually there you go take it 9.5 for the prince erdegaard 9.5 for the capitano smith row thank you for trying this season i'm gonna give you a six you've been standard this season um Jorginho, i th listen he's not about legs but he's about everything else you know what i'm saying and in this fast pitch game that we have people automatically just think of the legs everything else this man has but he's gonna get a strong 7.5 from me good start Vieira. it's not your fault that patrick is born somewhere else in the world and they have the same surname and now you've got to try and live up to that because you're at the club where he was god it's hard but Vieira's not strong enough he's not strong enough he's got the skills he's got the football brain and he's got the eyes he's got the sight just needs to go in the gym man no go go hang out with eddie a little bit eddie done change that got to get built up you know what i'm saying for that six you get me look on god you get a five from when you was with us but you've been on loan but five very standard el nenny you get a strong six you get me because you don't get to play a lot you were injured but when you do play you hold it down strong six brother you get me have it we'll see what you can do can't say nothing right now shaka shaka get a nine from me change of position still brought the level to the game checked his attitude probably got tripped up as in got tripped into into rah rah like twice the whole season twice so salute to shaka nine get me for all of that for having to change your position still having to keep pushing checking your attitude I uh, love it. I loved it. Scoring goals, loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Jesus injured, but brings nothing but energy, nothing but enthusiasm, nothing but motivation. The whole time he's on the field, that's what this guy brings. I'm gonna give him a solid eight. I'm gonna the injury, the injury, the injury, the injury. The injury didn't happen with us. Injury happened at the World Cup. Eight. Get yeah, eight. Martinelli, nine. Martinelli, nine. I'd like a couple more goals. Actually, 8.5 because I want a couple more goals. But beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Eddie, I give you a 7.5. I give Eddie a 7.5. When Jesus went down, he did step up, but he stepped up more with, well, it depends on who you're talking to, really, because you could say he stepped up with energy, motivation, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going to run. I'm just going to do it. Just give me the ball and I'll run and run and run and I'll try. That type of stuff. He technically steps right into the shoes of Jesus. It's just Jesus is just technically a little bit better. But what can you do? Brazilian versus English. Like, come on now. Yeah, it's going to be one in the blue moon. Um, Pepe on loan. Can't say nothing. Trossard. What? 8.5. Welcome, my brother. Welcome. I knew you was going to be a good buy because you was great. You was great when we got you from Brighton. Great, 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 great. Nilsson, well, we know you got goal of the season. I think you might have got player of the season. I'm not too sure now because I've just been talking for a while. But boy, new contract. You ran out your old contract. Literally, you ran it down. You were homeless. Shall I say you're jobless for a minute? Bang, sign a new contract. You back in. Are we ready? Number 24, you ready to go? <clears throat> Solid seven. Solid seven. You ain't, you ain't, Solid seven. Yes, that goal was a game changer, but one goal out of 38 games out of all the goals scored. Let's calm down a little piece. You get me? Um, Bolligan smashed up France, but I didn't really get to see it. But salute to you. You had a great season out there, but you're not getting no rating here today. Marquinhos, Marquisios, Marquinhos, however you want to pronounce it. Again, started all right, did a couple games, couple games, but then went out on loan. You know what I'm saying? I heard you just scored in the in the last friendly against Watford. So salute to you, my brother. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, I don't know if you've had enough experience out there. You want to come dance or they're going to put you on the list, get you out of here. I don't know. Actually, now that we're there, let's stay on there. Let's stay on where I was and let's do a... Um, Let's do a sell. Let's do a keep, keep loan or sell. Actually, you know what? Scratch that. Scratch.
scratch that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that for another video. And I'm also going to do the Premier League fixtures because there's some Premier, Premier League fixture list that's come out. So I'm going to do a couple of those. Um, I don't know how far that runs down. Is that all the way down? Is that all the way down to the last game? Oh, no, but we got that. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got all the games. Nice. So I'm going to do a do one for that. And is there Champions League ones? No, that's just showing us. I think it's just showing us what games we have before before Champions League games. So, obviously, it's not been drawn yet. So, how would we know? All right, people. So, yeah, that is the end of that. Let's stop sharing that real quick. Hope you enjoyed that, people. All right. Gonna wrap this ones up. Oh, my God. That felt good, though. That felt good. I liked it. This was good. Don't forget, my peoples. Don't forget. <laughs> and as always, I'm out of here. I don't think I even got my bloody... What's it called? My outro. I don't have my outro on here. It's a bit silly of me, isn't it? Need to have that on here. But as I said before, guys, make sure you go and check out the uh, Arsenal women's season wrap up. And as of now, we are wrapping up the Arsenal men's. Yeah. So stay good, stay blessed, and I'll see you on the next one, man. G O T S Gang Gang. <laughs>